I think that's probably one of the biggest advice. I would say the same advice. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate it. What an honor. Yay, bye. bye. What's up, Bruin fans? Welcome back to this week's episode of Bruin Banter. I'm your host, Felicia Hano. And we have Koshi on the show today. Hey guys. And I'm really excited that she's on the show because she's my roomie. And you also had a spectacular season debut. How was it competing again? How did you feel? I was super excited to have the opportunity to compete this weekend on floor and bars. It was kind of like a rough preseason just with injuries and my shoulder and we just didn't really know how it was going to play out. So. Um, to be able to contribute to the team this weekend and contribute good scores. I was really happy with my performance and the team performance too. Overall, it was a really great meet, so let's get into the meet highlights. Starting off on beam, we finally hit, and it was really awesome to see Kyla Boss doing her thing, 9975. And then Sakti closed out the rotation with a 9-9. It was really awesome to see her come back from last week and dominate this week. Yeah. At the end of our warm up, like our four minute touch, we all came together to do a little huddle. And we all said Christina as like our breakout worm, just because she's been working so hard with us throughout preseason, especially the last two weeks, just trying to get our confidence up. And I felt like we did it for her. Yeah, it was kind of tough to like see her feel like guilty almost from right. the last two meets, just not doing our best on beam. So this week just, being able to show all the hard work that you guys worked with her in the gym and all the saluted routines and inner squads like really showed this weekend and I'm really proud of everyone. Yeah, it was awesome. Next we moved on to the floor. It was an awesome floor party like always. Koshi over here, 985 with her debut routine. It was really fun. I feel like floor was, is always like a floor party and um, this weekend to be able to compete with like an amazing floor lineup, it was something really special for me just because I haven't done floor since honestly probably the national championship when we won. Yeah. So, <laughs> in like a real competition. So, um, it's been a while. And Gracie also got a 995 with her scary routine. <laughs> she, I think she scared all those BYU fans. They were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> She's a great performer. It was a good routine. She is. <laughs> Moving on to the vault. Kyla closed out the rotation, 9875 with a huge vault. Kyla and I are gonna get those sticks, they're coming soon. Yeah, I feel like everyone's, like the height is really good this year. And I feel like we'll just keep improving week after week with the landings, just getting used to everything and um, being on hard surface. Yeah, I agree. So we finished up on bars, it was kind of a weird rotation order, but we still killed it nonetheless. Koshi over here, 995. Oh my gosh, we were so hyped. As soon as you stuck to, everybody was screaming. I love looking at the replay, it's so cute. <laughs> Everyone, like the whole bar sideline was just going crazy for like each person. Yeah. I just remember seeing Nia, and yeah. Nia's like wearing my sunglasses. <laughs> and she's like, don't forget who you are. <laughs> she was cracking me up, but. It was so cute to see everyone and then everyone just kind of like piled and gave me a huge group hug. So definitely couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, obviously to close to the rotation, Kyla Boss had to get a 10, her 21st perfect 10. Two, two times in a row on bars. Definitely the GOAT, wow. But the real highlight of this trip was our snowman. <laughs> <laughs> Kyla was like, let's go sledding. And it's like 11.30 PM, yeah. we're like, Kyla, we're going to bed. Yeah. We're in bed and Kyla's like, everybody get up, we're going sledding. I was like, no we're not. We're like, how about we make a snowman in the morning? Watching Kyla the whole time and she was so excited to make a snowman. And then she like, she grabbed the ice and then she was like, ah! <laughs> so we ended up getting a 197.425. Pretty good, pretty good considering. Definitely a step up from the last two meets. Oh uh, yeah. I think, I feel like we're right on track. Yeah. You know, we don't want to peak too early and I think each meet we're just making the small improvements and then by the time we get to like the most important meets of season, then it's really going to show. I agree. Like most people have noticed, you kind of sat out the first few meets of the season and you haven't really competed since nationals last year. So what kind of has happened? What's been like your recovery process? Just kind of give the fans an update. In September, um, my shoulder dislocated and like 
a lot of things are torn. So I kind of had to make the decision if I want to do surgery or not. But this being like my senior year, um, if I would have done surgery, I wouldn't have been able to come back till like probably around like pac 12s So I just figured I wanted to try to enjoy and give myself the best opportunity to compete like with my team and help the team as much as I could. I decided not to do surgery and just to rehab and do all the like therapy that I could and recovery stuff. But we kind of decided that I wouldn't be able to compete every single meet just because my shoulder wouldn't be able to hold up. Um, so that's why I didn't compete the first two and also had like a little flare up before then, before the first meet. So I just try to like keep reminding myself that everything happens for a reason and eventually like my time would come and you know the most important meets are at the end of the season. So I've been doing a lot of like visualization and um, just relying on like the mental side of things. Yeah, you've been so strong mentally and like just to, like just being with you at home too. You take your recovering, you take your health and your shoulder like super seriously and everything you do is moving like a step in the right direction towards helping your shoulder and helping the team. So I think it's really awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely just try to keep that in the back of my mind that everything like you do either has like a positive or like a negative um, response. And so anything that I can do to try to help my body and then essentially help the team, um, that's definitely what I want to do. Now it's time for Twitter questions. This one comes from at Pets Voss in Tokyo and they ask, what advice do you give the freshies that you could have given yourself if you could go back in time? Ooh, so much has changed since my, my freshman year. If I had to give the freshmen like some advice, I think it's honestly just to like enjoy every competition. I feel like my freshman year, I was really like focused on like, since I came off the Olympics, almost what other people thought more so of my performance instead of like enjoying every single moment. And then this year, like I'm really enjoying and like, competing as it's like my last meet because like we're honestly not guaranteed like the next day so um, just trying to help them like enjoy every single competition is probably one of the biggest things. The next question comes from at Whitney Trey and they ask how did your infamous blue shades happen? Do they have any funny backstories? Love you Maddie. <laughs> last year we were at Pac-12 championships in Utah Oh, it's because we just finished finals, so like yeah. we didn't have study hall, we didn't have like any school to do, and we went to Forever 21, and I just, I was like, how funny would that be just to like have really cool sunglasses like on the floor, like during our floor parties, and so I found the blue sunglasses, and I was like, it's perfect, blue for Bruins, and this year I was like, I need to get some new sunglasses like something new for senior year. I just wanted to find some really cool ones, and they happened to be blue and yellow, and I had to ship them to the first meet <laughs> because it took me forever to decide. It's almost like a different identity when you're wearing them. Oh yeah, Nia loves putting them on. <laughs> yeah. I let, when I'm competing, I ha make sure like a teammate's wearing them and we're just carrying them around to each event. Oh yeah. The last question comes from at Amy Erickson and she asks, Madison Koshin, first of all, your bars in Utah were beyond incredible, congrats. My question is, how will you take what you've learned in elite and collegiate gymnastics into your medical career? Mm, I like that question. One of the biggest things is just like for me I like problem solving and so like if I can take my experiences and help other athletes or like whoever I end up working with I feel like that's what's like most satisfying to me is like how I can help other people. Thanks Koshi for being on the show. Thanks for having me. This was really fun. Don't forget to catch the Bruins at our next meet. It's kind of a weird one. It's Monday, January 27th at 7 p.m. at Stanford. And after our Monday meet that week, we should be releasing another episode of the docu-series about the new era. I think this docu-series like really takes you behind and like just gives you a look at like all of our personalities and how different we are and how we all just like work together really well. It's really cool just to see the behind the scenes and I'm excited to see the next one. Also, there should be an episode of Bruin Banter out next week, but we do have a really quick turnaround from our Stanford meet to our next home meet. We have like three days in between. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you next time. Bye. Bye.